Next up is a business that creates meaningful connections for fans. Hey Sharks, I'm Keithan. Hi, I'm Keontae. We're here from Chicago, Illinois, and we're seeking $500,000 for 15% equity in our company, Candy. Sharks, imagine this. Think back to when you were a kid. Think about your favorite celebrity or athlete that you always wanted to meet. Now imagine if you had the chance to actually meet that person. Maybe it's a movie star. Maybe it's a five foot five comedic rock star. Who knows? But imagine if you had a chance to actually talk to that person. I'm not talking about an impersonal video where the celebrity really doesn't know who you are. I'm talking about the chance to really interact with that person. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, at Candy, we're making dreams come true with one memorable meet and greet at a time. Candy is a social network that allows fans to video chat with their favorite celebrities and influencers. But don't just take our word for it. Take the word of Grammy award-winning artist, Maya. Hey, Kitan. Hey, Keontae. It's Maya here. You look amazing in that dress, by the way. And hello, Sharks. It's such a pleasure to be in the tank with you. I love being on Candy so I can chat with fans just like you, and I hope that you give them a great deal. Much love, everyone. Peace and blessings. So, Sharks, which, which one, one of you wants, wants to walk, walk the red carpet, carpet with, with Candy? candy? So is this a business that you already have up and running? Yes, right. so we launched in April of 2020. Since launching, we've made about over $100,000. What's the business model? Let's say I want to talk to Kevin Hart. What yeah. happens? Yeah, absolutely. So each celebrity sets their rate for a five-minute virtual meet and greet. Of that rate, they keep 75%. We earn 25%. How it works is you come to our website, you find Kevin's profile, you suggest the time that you would like to meet with him, our team coordinates to try to make that happen. Does Kevin set his price? Yes, yes. Kevin, each celebrity sets their own rate, but obviously we consult with them. What's the lowest and highest price? Yeah, we have celebrities, range? TikTok influencers, yeah. as low as, you know, five or 10, 10 bucks. Dollars. And we have, you know, Shaka Khan is 400 bucks. What's the engagement that you've had with your customers and how big is the platform? Absolutely. So we have over 350 celebrities and influencers. To date, we've done over 2,000 meet and greets. 40% uh, of our fans have used our service at least four times. Where are these fans coming from? We don't do any traditional forms of marketing. Right now we get our customers from our celebrities posting on our social media and uh, so about you're the using groups. you're using the platform of the celebrities that you guys have in hopes that you'll get a return and engagement from their fans to come over to Candy. As of now, yes. So Candy doesn't necessarily have an engine that they've built that you guys are using to distribute from. Well, we would say the engine is the celebrities, right? That you you posting obviously to your to your fan base. You'd be a billionaire if he posted once. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's right? the idea. So tell us about you. We were really like a cliche couple. I was the captain of a cheerleading team. He was the captain of the football team. <laughs> Following high school, I attended the University of Illinois, where I graduated in, within three years um, with honors. Wow. And we actually had our first son, Scotty, my last year of undergrad. So that was definitely difficult. Um, when we launched Candy of April of 2020, I was four months pregnant with our second son, Chase. His birthday is today. Um, <laughs> and. Up until labor and delivery, I was still working. And the next day after I delivered Chase, I had to work a meet and greet. And I had the, my baby on my boob and my laptop on my knee. So I've been grinding ever since. We like to say we don't really have maternity policy at uh, Candy. What's your background? So unfortunately, I was born to a mother who abandoned me and my two younger brothers when I was just four years old. Um, fast forward a little bit, I get to college. Um, I had an opportunity to play Division I college football at Eastern Illinois University. I was having the best time of my life, but I was unhappy because I knew what my younger brothers were facing on a day-to-day -day basis. And so after my freshman year, I was 19 years old, I went back and I adopted my 14 and 15-year-old brothers, oh, wow. legally so becoming nice. their father. Mm. So I was a full-time Division I college athlete. I was a single father of two teenage boys, and I also graduated undergrad in three years with my bachelor's in applied engineering. So in our house, if you graduate with a bachelor's in more than three years, you probably slouch it. <laughs> um, but then I had the opportunity to go to law school at the University of Illinois College of Law. I graduated in three years with honors. Yeah. And for the past six years, I've been pra practicing merger acquisitions, representing some of the biggest Fabulous. companies in the world. How did you think of the idea? Yeah, absolutely. We saw some reaction videos from some competitors in the industry, and we saw how excited fans were and happy and crying and elated. And we said, how amazing would it be instead of someone giving you the phone and saying, press play? 
they gave you the phone and Barbara was actually there to have a conversation with you, how much more personal that experience would be. The first thing to understand is this. We have no, in, no experience in Hollywood. No connections, I'm not a manager, she's not an agent, no connections. Good for you. We were everyday people sitting on our couch, and the first week from us having an idea of really trying to push candy to being live, we got 26 influencers and celebrities in one week. How we do that is hustle. You guys are asking for $500,000. What are you gonna do with the money? So we wanna do three things uh, most importantly. We want to have better technology. Yes, we do want an app. And two, we wanna hire more team for our talent acquisition um, so we can hone in on more quality talent. And lastly, we wanna increase our marketing efforts. So you really need an app because it's very hard to get people and acquire customers and fans. Yes. I mean, was more, just out on the web. I, I think what's even harder Absolutely. is, you know, the, the talent pool, right? The talent pool that's gonna guarantee you a return, which is where I'm having trouble because, yeah. you know, these things have existed before and the reason why they come far few and in between in a place of success is because they fall apart based on not being able to stay true to what the commitment was. And I just don't know if there's a world where you can guarantee that type of talent. Yeah, no one's saying it's a bad business for them. It's not. Right, You look, if you're doing $100,000 and you're making netting 25, right, and you're working from home, that's not a bad business, but that's a different question than whether or not it's an investable business. That's yeah. the, that's and, the and, and, and if I can interject, I think it is, right? I heard you say before, Mr. Wonderful, you're looking for a great business model that you can pour gasoline on. If right. you look at what we've been able to do with no experience in the industry, no relationships, no ties, you pour a little gasoline on that, you're gonna have a huge Yeah, spot. but you asked for a lot of gasoline. Honestly, I, I love the attempt and I love the effort. I just think it's too early to attach myself or get involved, even from an investment perspective, because we don't really know if this is something that not only works, but who's to say that somebody won't swoop in and do the bigger version of candy, right? Well, guess what, Kevin? That can be us. We just need your validation, right? We need the fact that Kevin Harder said he puts his name and his stamp on that. Life's not that way. You don't get some golden bullet that just builds a business. Fair. It just, doesn't, it just doesn't happen that way. That was a big problem when you said, well, you know, we're gonna use our celebrities and, and then from them in hopes get people to come on in X, Y, and Z. It's a trickle effect. You don't have an engine right now that you're saying, we know for sure we have 10,000 people that we're accessing and that we're beating up and that we wanna start with. And in hopes with these 10,000 people, well, we wanna grow some awareness in candy. It was all based on the talent that you hope to get. I think you guys came in extremely aggressive with the number and the the business model it just didn't match the ads so it's honestly too early for me I, I have to say it I'm out you made a fundamental shark tank mistake you asked for 500k right and you only gave up 15 percent and you're expecting us to to be that door opener all the time that's a lot of work that's a lot of obligation and so the numbers don't make sense to me so for that reason I'm out I'm curious as to see like what what numbers are investable? If this was 50,000 and a flyer, maybe, but it's 500,000, it's, it's too much gasoline for me. I'm out. You're a walking billboard of inspiration for anybody who would 100%. listen. But the ask is just too much, and like the other sharks, that's the reason I'm out as well. I'm out. Thank you. Thank I you appreciate that. Lori? Lori. What happened is, is your ask was much higher than what you've actually sold. Absolutely. And I'm not confident that you're gonna be able to grow it that big, that fast with all the competition that's out there already. I'm so sorry, but I'm out. Keith, and you guys are smart. You will figure it out. We, and we are. Yes, yeah. Thank Thanks, you guys. guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Have a good one. We do regret the, the, the amount of the ask, but it was great uh, meeting Kevin Hart. Anytime you have a guest shark like that that can give you such invaluable advice, um, you know, I feel like we got a free counsel, a consulting mm -hmm. session, right? Really is how I feel. I'm way too familiar with that space, and a lot of mistakes early on in my business career were made in that space. Oh, really? Uh, all, yeah, all based off of, oh, said person has this many followers. If we get them to do this, then this is gonna be a right. success. And that's not true. You can have high numbers, but what's important is high engagement. Exactly.